Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Leonardo and in this channel we talk about music composition and production. But before we start... How does that sound to you? Do you like it? So if you would like to make this sound, stick around because that's what we will be doing today. So it turns out that despite my huge efforts in writing music and arranging it, my most popular video by far is about sound design. So I decided why not to make a series about it and share some of the knowledge that I have on this. Today we'll be making a rifle sound from scratch using only Serum and Logic Pro X stock plugins. So get ready and let's get started. So first step will be to create a new session. And of course, um, the first track that we will need is an instrument track. We will load an instance of Serum. And since we will not be using the oscillators, we can deactivate them. We will be using the noise generator though. And specifically the sample that I would like you to get here is the snap one. That's the closest one to the first layer of the sound we want to make. We will activate one shot and pitch tracking. Let's take A2 as a node for our sample. I think that's the closest one to the sound that we want to get. Of course, it still sounds too far away. So for now, we will boost the volume so that we can hear it clearly. And then we will start playing with it by using the effects section. First thing that we will apply is distortion. We go on post, we keep tube selected and we drag all the way to the right because we want to distort the full spectrum. More drive, more drive. That we're getting something reasonable there. Great. Now we will compress it. And that's kind of working there radio I think there is okay we will not give it a very fast attack because we want some of the transient that's it and the release has to be fast that's it now we can back up with the master volume actually let's use this yeah let's leave it as it was and use the volume from here, from the gain. Yeah, that's kind of working. And now we will also shape our sound a little bit with the use of EQ. So we drag the EQ, we activate it, and this is what I want you to do. We need some a little bit more high end because the, we want that snap sound to be more snappy, if it makes sense. So we will keep this high shelf selected and then boost again. All right. We back up a little bit with the volume. We don't want any clipping. That's it. Okay. And now we want to make this a little bit drier. So we will cut it by using some noise gate. Again, all stock plugins. That's the sound we want. We will record it. There we go. Quantize it to make sure that we are starting the sound in the first bit and then we will go for our second layer. Again, we create another instrument and we will load again Serum. For this one, we won't be using the oscillator either and in this case because we want to have some low end we will load a kick more specifically kick number three i think that's one of the best in this case we will not be activating pitch tracking 
because it doesn't really matter. So that's what we want to use. Again, effects and same order. Distortion, post, all the way to the right. Drive. Make sure it's not clipping. Then some compression. I have been dialing these knobs and this is sort of the configuration that I found. It's time now to back up with the master because it's too loud and to correct from here. See, I picked before. I think it's picking healthy. We can even go a little bit higher. There we go. And this will be our second layer. We don't really need to record again because it doesn't really matter it has does not have pitch tracking activated and now we will go for our third layer for that we create another instrument we mute the previous one and of course you guessed right we will be loading another instance of serum this layer is one i particularly like because it's uh, interesting so uh, yeah i let you i let you guess i will be loading some noise uh, more specifically where is it? That's the one I want. Yep. Nice. We bring the pitch down. Just a little bit. And then we will be using LFOs to control the volume of the noise module. But we want a very specific curve that it turns out that serum has built in so we select this one we drag it to the level we adjust it so that we go from zero to not like this we adjust it so that it goes from zero to approximately half of it and then here and of course we want it as an envelope let's adjust the pitch a little bit more And that's kind of it. Same thing, we drag the node here and now we have our three layers. Let's hear how, it, how they sound together. Great. We have now a very basic sound and we want to make more with it. So let's uh, bounce everything together and play with it a little bit more. All right. We mute this three and then let's work now with gunfire only. So at this point we have a very dry sound and we are still lacking some depth and of course we're going to use reverb for that. I recommend using the Space Designer plugin and there is a very very nice preset already loaded that we almost do not have to tweak at all. Go to uh, medium spaces, outdoor and woods natural. Let's give it a listen. That's kind of quite there, I would say. I'd like to pause here for a second and ask you if you are finding any value in this video. If that's the case, please let me know it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe since that helps me a lot growing my channel and creating more content like this. So for a single shot, I think this works quite well. We could also do some bursts. So let's create another audio track. Let's drag our sample there, mute this one for now, and duplicate, 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 duplicate. What we'll do now is to place these samples close to each other, but not too close. So maybe something like this. Absolute here, so it sticks nicely to the same place, okay? There we go. Now we will add more and a little bit more and one more. Great. We can do now, if we want to apply the same reverb for all of them, we can select all these tracks and create a stack track. Some and then 
what we will do is to use the same plugin we used before but in this case for the burst bring it down a little bit and let's hear how it sounds like and there you go a semi-automatic rifle so of course this was a very quick tutorial and much more can be done i mean you could have different samples and shuffle them randomly so it does not sound so robotic you can tweak the reverb depending on the kind of space that you want to make but the concept is basically this you can layer three sounds change them depending on the gun that you are trying to design and then make your very own sounds that you don't have to pay anybody for in any case that's all i have for you today Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.